Rapper Little Jag recently pulled out of this Afro Future Fest where they're charging white people twice as much to go as people of color, man. What, what do you think? Well, I think white men should always pay twice that much. <laughs> What's happening, YouTube? We got some good old Jack Levin with ticket prices in Detroit at the Afro Future Fest, and we're gonna break it all down. But before we do, I wanna ask you to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Also, the best way to navigate my channel is just go through my playlist. There's probably something for everybody. So there was a big outrage over the weekend. Music festival in Detroit was charging double to Anglo-Saxon Americans than what they was charging to minorities. This is what they had to say about it. The ticket structure is set up to support most marginalized. Oftentimes when dope events happen in Detroit, the cheapest tickets are bought and then sold by people not from the community because they can afford them first, leaving high ticket prices as the only option. It goes on further to say, black and brown people deserve access to quality events in their city. It isn't fair when events happen in their city that they don't have a chance to be a part of because people who don't look like us take advantage and also have more access to collective wealth. Try to understand what they're saying to break that down. She sounds like she's someone who's had a history or maybe her family's had a history in which the same exact thing has happened to minorities back during the Jim Crow days, and then you see it in some other areas. Um, oftentimes, African Americans are charged more for insurance, but having said that, it still don't make this situation right. So they go on, the organizers go on further to say, with disparities in mind, organizers came up with a race-based pricing model for the August 3rd event. Early bird ticket purchases before July 17th cost $10 for people of color and 24 whites wow general admission would be twenty dollars for people of color and 40 for whites a portion of the proceeds would go back to the afro future youth the community initiative so folks that's not something that hasn't been done before it don't make it right and to the best of my knowledge even though people are charged about this issue isn't that illegal nowadays you can't be doing that now, this has been done by somebody else. Take a look at this. A chef done a social experiment where he charged minorities $12 and white people 30, and the balance he would go to leverage for poor minorities in the community. The only difference with what he did compared to what this group did was, he was upfront about it. He let people know, hey, I'm charging y'all more because I'm trying to subsidize people who can't afford it. This organization didn't do nothing of the suches, which makes it wrong. Now they went back and changed it, but only after the vendor who was selling tickets for them, Eventbrite, jumped in and said this, we do not permit events that require attendees to pay different prices based on protected characteristics such as race or ethnicity. An Eventbrite spokesman told the Washington Post in an email, they go on further to say, when we become aware of violations of with Afro Future Fest, we notified the creator of the event and requested that they alter the ticket pricing accordingly. We also let them know that if they did not comply, we will remove the event completely. And what the hell do y'all think they did? They complied. You did have a biracial local Detroit rapper come out and state her opinion. This is what she had to say. I have family members that would have, under those circumstances, been subjected to something that I would not ever want them to be in, especially not because of anything that I have going on. And so she pulled out of the event. She was like, hell to the no, I'm not dealing with it. And now I do realize our society still has deep systemic issues of equality, not just with blacks, but with women and all that. But this one right here, folks, is a clear violation of doing something wrong. They could have probably gotten away with it had they made it clear in an, in an effort to help the people who really can't afford this. If you want to pay more for this ticket, you can do so. What they could have also done was had people who live in certain poor or impoverished districts get a discount. You could have done that too. You can't just straight out without putting anything in writing just say, hey, hell to the with it. We are gonna just charge you all this money um, just because you're white. Folks, that's discrimination, man. 
I, I know some of y'all are still hot about some of the inequities we have, but you can't do that. You've got to be fair and balanced on this situation. This is one where it's straightforward. And if I'm not mistaken, it's against the law. But I want to hear what you guys think. Leave me your life gains on this situation in the comment sections below. Try to understand how you feel and see what happens. But who needs reality TV when you got this going on? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Let me know how you feel. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.